Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let us see and analyze one more interesting topic and let's have a knowledge on one more important service that is managed Apache Flink. So those who watched the video of data analytics, Kinesis data analytics, they have already knowledge on this studio notebook that we have already created in that lab and we have already provided processed some query in that lab we have seen how to create our notebook in that lab so those who watched that they have knowledge on this studio notebook by using this studio notebook actually we have two things two options that are important to learn under this managed apache flink what are the two options the two options are apache flink applications and studio notebooks so let's let's introduce the studio notebook then we'll move on to lab on this apache flink application so in previous kinesis data analytics video hands-on video we have already created a studio notebook there we analyzed more about this those who haven't watched this please watch that video so that you got a good knowledge on it in studio notebooks when do we use studio notebooks sir when do we use up uh, this apache flink application sir you use studio notebooks when you want to analyze the data by using queries if you are expecting to analyze the data coming from mfk that is managed streams of kafka or you have a data stream that is kinesis data stream you already have now you are expecting to analyze the, that data that type of data then this apache flink notebooks are used which notebooks these interactive notebooks studio notebooks are used to query that data and to process that data to analyze that data to visualize that data as well if you want to process and analyze and get some results from the data then you use this studio notebook so that's simply about this is studio notebook that's where and when we use this studio notebook where we use this studio notebook in order to process our running streams like managed stream kafka or kinesis data stream and to analyze the results by querying the data we use this notebook studio notebooks now let's move on with another option that is apache flink applications what is this apache flink applications you can able to create streaming applications from here now let us see how to click how to create a streaming application by using this managed apache flink so for that you just click on this apache flink applications then you click on create streaming application you can see you can move to this console now you can see the option choose method to set up the stream processing application to set up the stream processing application choose the method in which method you want to set up your stream processing application you want to create it from scratch or you want to use a blueprint let's see the options under create from scratch you have to specify apache flink configuration which configuration you want the latest version is recommended if you have any particular dependencies if you want any particular dependencies then based on that you can able to select your version so currently i'm moving on with the latest one only then application configuration so what is the application name you want to put 
so i'm putting the application name as app1 if you want to provide any description then you can able to provide the description here then to access resources to access aws resources this application requires some permissions right yes in order to provide those permissions you need to create an iim role and update that iim role to this what to this application so that this application can access that iim role and by using that iim role it can able to access the resources in your aws account so for that you have two options you want to choose the iim role by your own you have already created and managed that iim role so if you want to create your iim role by your own and if you want to choose that iim role then from here this option you can create your own iim role and you can choose it you can create your own iim role then you can choose it from here to provide that resources access or else you don't want to take care of creating the iim role and you don't want to take care of what are the policies that you want to attach to that iim role aws want to manage that then you can choose this so that aws will create or update the role so what are the role it has that it will update and it can attach that to this application whatever you are creating now tax these are uh, this plays important role in automation if you want to automate your code by using any programming then you can choose tax creating tax is recommended in that scenario and in order to filter out your resource from multiple resources in your aws account these tags are useful if you want you can able to use it then you have template application settings you have production template and development template if you use this development template it costs you low even that is indicated here whereas if you choose production template it costs you high even it provides you other facilities with the with that cost that is high availability and fast and consistent performance in order to provide high availability and fast consistent performance from your application you use this production environment while producing and you use this development environment while creating your application for development now this is one one method this is one method to create your application stream you just click on create so that your stream will be created now let us also see how to use this blueprint this blueprint what is this blueprint sir blueprint actually contains data information related to your underlying infrastructure that means if you use if you use this blueprint to create your streaming application then what happens is cloud formation aws cloud formation will take that blueprint as a template and then it will create it will create this cloud formation will create everything underlying infrastructure for you by using that blueprint where that blueprint specifies what services you want to create and what connections you want to create so all the infrastructure present in under that blueprint so this is where you choose this if you want if you want your streaming data to use in your apache flink applications then you can use it and then after processing that by using this apache flink application if you want to move it to destination s3 destination you can choose this apache flink streaming application so by using this application also you can able to gather or take the information from kinesis data streams and you can able to process it and store it in any destination as well now here you can see the information 
what information you need to provide is you want to provide your application name and destination bucket is already selected and Kinesis data stream is already selected. So like that you can able to create your blueprint. You, you can able to create your stream application by using blueprint, right? Yeah. Now I'm just using the default configurations or default blueprint that was provided by AWS. And now I'm clicking on create blueprint. Before that, if you want to edit your application name based on your requirement, then you can able to edit this as well. So currently I'm just deploying my blueprint. If I deploy it, then two stacks will be created. And by using those two stacks, your data stream is created and your Flink application is created and it moves your data, which is processed from the data coming from the stream which just enters into this and then this flink will process or simply you can remember like transform it will transform the data and then it load into this so extracting transforming and loading happens so if you just click on deploy it might take few minutes you can see after creating your flink application now I just opened that application. You can see the details will be looks like this. You can see the demo details are available here. You can you can even able to see the cloud formation stacks from here and Kinesis data streams and S3 destination bucket as well. Those all things you can able to see from here by just clicking on them and you can see the application details, the status is running and ARN for my application as well. And runtime you can see and you can see the IAM role that was created and updated for me. So when, when at last date it was created and description and creation time, so everything will be available here. If we just scroll it up, then you can see under configuration tab, we also can able to see under what destination S3 bucket our data is stored. So that S3 destination bucket data is also available here and some runtimes, some runtimes also created for me by using this. So let's see monitoring as well. In this monitoring, you have a clean detailed diagrams regarding monitoring your health of your application so like that cloudwatch dashboards are available for you under the monitoring you can able to monitor those as well and we can even able to create snapshots you can see i have a snapshot section as well so if i click on it then i have an option to create a snapshot if i create a snapshot then my data backup will be saved saved there saved by using that option. Now I'm just scrolling this configuration tab a bit up so that we can able to see the some more options here. Just now just we just moved a bit above the configurations. So you can see under we have multiple options that is application recovery configuration and snapshot we have already on that and you can see checkpoints also available here and scaling option is also available here where by scaling you can able to provide parallelism and parallelism per cpu you can able to provide automatic scaling is already in on mode you can see from here on down you have logging and monitoring session as well then under this we also have networking so in which vpc we want and in which subnet we want to put and which security group we want to put thus that also we can able to configure under that you have application maintenance as well application maintenance window as well available there now we have seen the configurations options now let us see the kinesis the data coming from where we're getting data from date kinesis data streams right yeah so let's click on it and see the data coming from this and let's verify it 
moves to S3 bucket or not after some processing. So now I'm just clicking on Kinesis data streams. Now it just enters into this Kinesis data streams. You can see we are now in Amazon Kinesis data streams under the stream that is created by the cloud formation in this lab. You can see the status is active. Now just click on data viewer. You can see under data viewer, we have to select the shards. Now we just selected the first shard. Under that also starting position we selected and we clicked on get records so that our records, we, we, we get our records. Now you can see we have some records that are coming from this Kinesis data stream. Now let's check and verify whether after processing the data by using Apache Flink application, the data is stored under our destination S3 or not. Now you can see, I just came back to my Flink application, Apache Flink application. Now, already we have verified, we have seen Kinesis data stream producing some data. Now, in order to analyze whether the data is stored in destination S3 bucket or not, now we just click on it so that we can able to see the data inside our bucket. By using that way, we can able to analyze this application is working or not. If this application is working, then the data coming from the Kinesis stream will transform and move to this S3 bucket, right? Yeah. So now I'm just clicking on this S3 bucket. You can see, now we reach to the S3 bucket. So inside my Amazon S3, inside my buckets. So whatever the bucket that is created by the application that is shown here, and inside my bucket, I have some transformed data as well. So that means can I, can I assume like my application is processed and the data after processing stored under this S3 bucket? Yes. The data is processed and stored under this S3 bucket in jar files, JSON files and some folder as well. So like this, it was stored. So I can say my data is processed and stored in this. If you want to see the processing, if you, if you are expecting to see what processing happens by using my application, then you can choose this go to GitHub page. If you click on this, then you can be redirected to GitHub page where it contains the folders related to processing of your application. You get this GitHub page under your Flink application that you created by using stack. So by using blueprints, you created your application, right? In Apache Flink applications, managed Apache Flink applications. So there you can see under your application, you have go to GitHub. If you click on it, then you can move to GitHub page. Now I'm just clicking on it. Now here, so whatever the transformation happened, that will be visible under this. So here a detailed explanation is there. So this is a Java data stream API. So whatever the API, whatever the app that we created, that's a Java stream API that we just created. And then we have also details about it and step-by-step -step deployment walkthrough as well available here and launching via cloud formation with pre-synthesized pre templates. So all the details will be available here in this format regarding how the processing or how the template will be. So those things will be available under this. Now we just move back and see actual Apache Flink dashboard from my application. You can see on top right corner, an option is there, open Apache Flink dashboard. Now just click on it so that your Apache Flink dashboard will be opened. You can see this is how our Apache Flink dashboard will look like. Under this, we have our jobs and running jobs and completed jobs. 
and task manager and job manager. You can see available task lots currently zero. Under running jobs, we, we have one job running. That is nothing but our application. You can see running jobs list. So here you can see Kinesis data stream to S3 Flink streaming application. That is what we are running now. Now, in order to see it, just click on it so that it will open so that we can able to see it. Now I'm just clicking on it. Now we can see we have source and we also have S3 Flink sync, S3 file sync. So we have source that is Kinesis source and we also see S3 file sync that is where our data is written. So from this source our data is taken and our application will process that data here and then forward it to destination that is S3 file sync under two one bucket. So you can see this is how the Apache Flink dashboard will look like and in this you have also seen jobs and running jobs. We have opened one running job here that is uh, our running app and we have seen the source and destination that is a S3 file sync. This is how it will be Apache Flink dashboard. So this is about uh, how to create your Apache Flink applications. Whereas coming to the demo regarding studio notebooks, you have already seen that when explaining Genesis data analytics. So those who haven't watched that, please watch that so that you can have good knowledge with this of practical implementation. I hope you got good knowledge with how to create your Flink applications by using cloud formation. That is by using blueprints, how to create that we have seen now. And we, we also know how to create a studio notebook or application streaming applications, Apache Flink applications by using custom inputs as well. So I hope you got knowledge on these two. That means totally about the service managed Apache Flink. I hope this video is understanding to you and you have some, you got some hands on knowledge by using this session. I hope this video is contentful and you got some knowledge from this video. At last, we, we can also see the pricing options. You can see this is how the pricing will be. Kinesis for one Kinesis processing unit it will be charged 0.11 per hour and running application storage, you will be charged 0.1 dollar per GB. And for durable application backups, we have this amount of uh, charge per GB per month. That is $0.023 per GB per month. So while creating your application storage or backups, you need to concentrate on these two. And while processing, you need to focus on this KPU units, how much it consumes, how much it charges to me. Because at the end, charge will incur on your account or your company account. So just focus on this as well while creating. So we have seen streaming application creation, studio notebook uh, in previous video. So we have a good knowledge on this managed Apache Flink. I hope this video is understanding to you. And this video is contentful about this particular service that is managed app application Flink. I hope. You got some content or knowledge recap from this video. If you feel this video is useful, then please like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. Thanks for watching again. See you back in the next video with another interesting topic. Until then, bye bye, guys.